The heat's on back at Ice Station Central. The greenhouses are ready, and the Jamie Ice Dolls are chilling out. But can their small-scale greenhouses back at M7 really produce a plausible greenhouse effect? The guys head off to consult an expert at UC Berkeley. And after a little demonstration showing the power of ice... <laughs> oh, my God! It's down to business. So I've heard a lot about people making models to predict the future of global warming. And with all of the complicated systems on Earth, wouldn't that be a little difficult? We can do experiments on small scales in the lab. We can make observations on a global scale. But you're right, it is hard to replicate in a three foot by three foot chamber. It's a challenge. I think it can be done, but it's a challenge to replicate that. Challenge? That's Mythbusters' second name. And back at M7, it's time to commit the Jamies to a watery grave. Poor Jamies looking at you like that. That ice cold stare. Try working with them all the time. Everything has to be kept identical in this experiment. That looks good right there. So that's 1,570 foot candles. So let's try to get all the lights so that that amount of light is going to, into each greenhouse. Okay. Accurate thermometers are essential. These thermometers measure a tenth of a centigrade. To make sure it all runs to plan, the guys have called in Manish Gupta, a gas monitoring expert from Los Gatos Research. The Earth's CO2 levels stand at around 350 parts per million, and methane, a tiny 1,800 parts per billion. But amounts that small are no problem for this gear. For methane, it's in the part per billion level, and for CO2, in the part per million level. So now they can up the greenhouse gas levels in minutely accurate increments. And once the gases are in, everyone can chill out and uh, watch ice melt. Let's start melting some Jamie's. M7, it's the big freeze. The temperatures have been steady in the control greenhouses, while... The methane and the CO2 have been a degree higher consistently. But after three and a half hours withstanding the heat, the Jamie's finally crack. So we've let the experiment run for four hours, and I think from the results that we're getting, we can come to a conclusion. Both the methane and the CO2 greenhouses remained hotter than the control. Throughout the whole experiment, it looks like the gases do increase the temperature inside the greenhouses. The CO2 greenhouse stayed steady on 24.8 degrees Celsius, the methane on 24.9, and both the controls were consistently a degree cooler. I think that this is showing that CO2 and methane are major culprits for global warming. All right, so the results from the global warming experiment were pretty conclusive. Yeah, the greenhouses with carbon dioxide and methane stayed consistently warmer than the control. Yeah, it was almost one degree Celsius warmer the entire time. All right, so this one's confirmed? Confirmed. 